Jerry D is with me, our first guest on this new segment where I'll be speaking to comedians at home about sports. I don't have a, a name for the segment. I thought uh, James Duffy talking to comedians, I, I'd call it a, an original name like uh, Mr. D. Or Do it. Do or, it. Uh, James Duffy, sports reporter. Yes. Quiz master. Another one of your things. Can't yeah, call just steal it all. They're all, they're all done anyway. Yeah. No, it's great to be here, buddy. How are you? I'm great, man. I, I was really looking forward to having you on as our first guest for this, A, because I've known you for a long time, B, because uh, I know you love sports and you play sports and that's what this segment is about, and C, most importantly, because we share the same agent and he told me that you had to be first. Yes, the old, uh, the agent who got us this unpaid gig, the <laughs> best agent. He's good. Jeff, Thanks, yes, Jeff. Both of us a new show with, with no pay involved. No pay, just content. You used to be a really good hockey player. You were a high-level uh, hockey coach and a walk-on at St. FX, and you were a superstar yeah. right away. Is that fair? <laughs> uh, great hockey player. I would use that term loosely. Uh, that's kind of a funny story. I was playing intramurals at York University, tearing it up. I was tearing up the intramural league. And uh, <laughs> get scouts at those games. It was a couple. <laughs> um, and I was doing my education at St. FX, and I thought I should try to make the hockey team. I made the team, which was ludicrous. It, they, they figured me out after about four games. But didn't you get four and points I, in your first I game? I got four points in my first game, and it was. It's a story, it's a, it's a movie. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a movie. And here I was, this intramural hockey player who never played past select hockey and i couldn't tell anyone because if i said that they'd have to say we can't take this guy just the optics look bad now you've posted videos of your son playing hockey he uh he's seven and he quit hockey like who does that in canada like that's just a loser move you don't quit at seven you quit at 17 maybe you've tried you don't quit at seven well, and we literally i had to call i had to call or... the What's that? Was it because of his dad? I didn't coach it. I, I, I wasn't the coach, and he, he just hated it. And I don't know how you hate hockey in Canada or anywhere. I didn't talk to him for a couple of days. I, I, I just was so disappointed. And, um, and now he likes volleyball, which I, I love. But, you know, there's no World Junior Volleyball Championships on TSN and Boxing Day. Like, I always imagined I'd be watching him in the World Juniors and you and Bob would be talking about him and <laughs> Boxing Day. No, it's uh, – now i got to find a volleyball league for him that's – seven. there's no seven-year-old volleyball. Like it's, that's why he likes it because no one in the world plays it. Right. He just does that. So it was tough. He was, uh, he was the worst player on the, on the team, and that's, that's embarrassing. People know – you know, people knew who I was and – I'm lying. On some days, I'm like, that's my nephew. I didn't even want to admit it. It's my nephew. It's my brother's kid. Just <laughs> helping him drive him to the rink. You do <laughs> post a lot of videos with your daughter, who has a, yeah. has a really nice swing. What is it like yeah. watching your daughter in, in golf? And have you caddied for her at all? Because she's playing tournaments yeah. right now. Yeah, she's getting... Uh, it's not good to coach your kids in anything, really. It's... Uh, I, I swear now. I never used to swear. Um, she's 13 that next month, and she's a great kid, but it's just a different – it's hard when you're better than them, and I'm better than all three of them at every sport still, and they don't get that. Right. So sometimes I have to show them. Um, but she's uh, – I've caddied for – we've had a few arguments. You know, the, 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 the worst thing, though, what's great about her is – she missed the pot. We were in a tournament and we flew to Dominican. It was this really big tournament. We were, I said we should go have a father daughter trip, and we went. And um, she missed the pot. It was it was about eighteen inches. You know that and most people don't even talk about putts in inches. They're like, so she stepped up one foot and missed it. And I'm like beside myself, right? I'm like, what the? How do you miss that? <laughs> he didn't say that. Like, though, how do? 
Oh yeah, of course I do. How do you miss that? I said, she's a 10 years old. How do you miss that? Like it's literally the length of two, how, like, are you trying? She goes, of course she starts crying. Of course I'm trying. Oh, it doesn't look like you're trying. You can't it doesn't do look that. like you're trying. It's 18 <laughs> inches. Anybody that I, then I refer to her little brother who's three. Brenton could make it. Brenton's three. A three-year-old would make that putt. So she's crying and I felt kind of bad. Yeah. And um, I got halfway down the fairway of the next hole and I said, I'm still trying to figure out how you missed that. <laughs> and she and she says to me in the best, the best thing you could say as a golfer, she said, and she wasn't crying by this, she said, why are we still talking about that? Like, shouldn't we be forgetting about that and moving forward? And she was 100% right. And from that moment on, I realized, okay, I got to... <laughs> I got to pull back because she's trying and I'm getting, I'm getting a little frustrated as I think about it still though, to be honest, because it was 18 inches and we <laughs> flew, we flew there. So you're the worst caddy yeah. ever, right? I'm not, a, I, uh, imagine like Brooks Kepka's caddy after he misses one on 17 at the U S open walking up 18. So how did Why, you, what, what happened? What happened back there again? The funniest James was I went in a tournament once and no one, these people didn't know me. And um, sometimes I do stuff for myself. And it was the ninth hole, and I yelled. And I was standing with two dads, and I yelled to my daughter, you miss this, you don't eat tonight. And I didn't laugh. And they just looked at each other like, you know what, my daughter, it was to make her laugh. Right. You miss it, you don't eat. <laughs> um, so they, uh, they have, yeah, their dads, you know, their dads can be crazy sometimes. What's, uh, what's your daughter's name? Allie. I'm She's sorry, crazy. Allie. I'm She's sorry for better. everything you go, better than me. I know. <laughs> you go through. Now you, 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 so I don't coach her anymore. I, I step aside now, and I, right. yeah, I just let her go. Listen, man, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, thank you, buddy. We miss, we miss Mr. D, but we can still watch you all the time on Family Feud. Yeah. And if we want to see you live, go to, is it Jerry D Comedy? Jerry D.com. Uh, I'm going to be back on tour when this dies out. Hopefully we're through this soon and everybody stay safe. And, uh, you know, April next year or January next year, I'm, I'm rescheduled my tour dates and I'll add a couple new ones. So hopefully that, that can go. But, uh, yeah, thanks for doing this and, uh, stay safe, everybody. You too, James. We'll get out golfing. I'll miss a two footer and then you can berate me for the rest of the day. For two holes. <laughs> <laughs> See you, partner. See you, buddy.